Yo, what up, though? I'm back with another video. I'm about to uh, get the bike together real quick. Quick uh, tune up, oil change, plugs, coils, antifreeze, and flush the brakes. So, um, you already know me, I got the bike already mostly to a perp. I'm about to uh, disconnect this battery and uh, pull the fuel tank off real quick just to get it out of my way. So let me set y'all up for that. One more other thing. <clears throat> Something else I did was uh, use a China marker to mark both of these. Look at the focus. Just mark both of these hoses left and right. But other than that, just disconnect those two hoses. Got a plug here, plug here. Disconnect that, disconnect this hose, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna get that out the way. All right, so I got everything down here disconnected. Only thing left now is just this little 10 millimeter bolt. Knock that out, and then get the gas tank off. Next step is just remove all of these bolts here and this one as well. Got a screw hose down here for your air intake. Got one here. Hold on, let me get you a light. There you go. Got it plugged there. Got some hoses down there with some clamps on them. Plug here hose here and a couple of ones down there so I'll knock all these out and get this air box up Air filter ain't that bad. I actually cleaned it when I first got the bike, but it still look good. So while I'm taking this bike apart, I just want to speak on something, and it's not any hate towards anyone or anything in the bike community. I don't even think I need to disconnect it. Notice, you know, most of the bigger biker influencers. Oh, they just pull up. Okay. Pause. Most of the biker influencers, they um. All right. As I was saying, most of the what I'm noticing is a lot of the bike influencers. I think I'm on this side. So you can see. So yeah, like I was saying, um, no hate to nobody. I notice a lot of the bike influencers, they don't do too much of this type of maintenance on their bike. And that's cool, but with me getting in the lane of being quote unquote an influencer, I want to influence you to work on your own bikes. Because lo and behold, I ain't never did none of this before. So I'm just winging it right now. Watched a little YouTube video and that was about it. In that YouTube video, it wasn't very in depth. So, I mean, you can definitely learn. And no knock the, uh, the pages I watched, watched several of them. So. But, yeah. Can't be scared to get 
your hands a little dirty, learn something new. Who knows, I may be able to help somebody else fix their bike. I don't need some shop tiles or go in these valve covers. If y'all been on my channel and watched a couple videos I do have, everything y'all seen is me just learning right there. Because y'all watch me do it. So, let that be a lesson. Definitely don't want there's anything getting in here. So now we can see the coils and I can see two of them going to be held. I think this cover here comes off so let me see what I can do. I'm going to try to set up the camera so y'all can see it but if not I'll just uh, describe what I did once I get them up. So, yeah, it's not too bad if you just get some of these hoses moved out of the way. The plugs come off pretty easy. Make sure you keep the plugs kind of in order. It's the fire and sequence so you don't mess it up. They kind of made so you can't mess it up. So, uh, put y'all back on in a second. I'll get these coils up. So yeah, one thing I do suggest is that you got a bunch of long extensions like this. You don't need it to get down in these funny angles. So the first one is pretty simple. I ain't gonna say simple, but it's the easiest to get to. Well, the only one I tried so far. So. Our first one, so come on, focus. Yeah, that one look good. We're gonna get these up out of here. Okay, so, I'm gonna reinstall my spark plug immediately because I got another open hole in the engine and I don't need nothing else going in there. But what's supposed to? I gotta look up the torque specs for these. I think I can get my torque wrench on them. I know us most uh, everyday mechanics kind of know. I think it's like a turn or a turn and a half once you get it tight. Um, I'm going with torque specs just to be safe because if something wrong the last thing I want to do is have to tear this back apart and be like oh let me torque this which to be honest taking this apart wasn't that bad I think I'm tight Internet says uh, 
new meters, or 18 and 21 foot pounds. One now. There you go. Hey, I want to show y'all something real quick. Um, I hope y'all can see this. See this blue ring around the inside of the uh, connector? It's a mat seal or basically a water seal. I just happened to look on the floor and seen it. And the reason I know what it is is because I do electrical work for a living. I just happened to see one on the floor. And I'm like, wait a minute. Where in the hell did this come from? So it more than likely got stuck on the outside of one of the old coils and pulled out. So just double check, make sure you don't miss it. All right, we got all uh, four of the plugs in, coils replaced. So now, only thing left is just to put everything back together in a reverse order. So I'm gonna knock that out and uh, cut y'all back on when I'm done. Yep, so the bike is all back buttoned up, closed up. I just let her run and get up to operating temperature for a second. I'm about to uh, go ahead and change the oil now and top off the radiator fluid. Say it took me about 30, 40 minutes, maybe. First time ever doing it. So, like I say, man, try out something new. Don't let nothing defeat you. Never know what you might be capable of doing. How would you know if you don't even try it? So I suggest everybody, no matter what you're working on, bike, car, your house, man, just go for it. So I read a few forums where people talk about not or reusing this crush washer, but I've already ordered like six or seven of them, so I'm replacing mine. Get her off. Yeah, this uh, actually acts as a seal, so. I would highly recommend replacing it because that's what the manufacturers say, so why wouldn't you? Yeah, and to get to the oil filter, which is right here, take off the coolant reservoir, overflow reservoir too. Got two screws for the little fairing cover. And then you got a 10 mil here and a 10 mil here. 
<clears throat> so this is a trick I learned on YouTube. You take some foil, can wrap it. Oh my god. Take some foil, wrap it around your exhaust pipe so you don't get oil all over it, right up under where the oil filter it. And say you some cleanup afterwards. filter off now and pre-fill it before I put it back in. You got your wall feel right here. And the dipstick is down here. about all of it in there but I'm gonna just double check yeah nice and green I'm gonna put this last little bit in here Ain't no sense to save it just in case I didn't feel the filter up. Yeah, so that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this video. Um, got everything all wrapped up, oil topped off. I'm gonna button up the rest of the bike. Um, I may hop on it and take it for a ride. If I do, I'll cut it back in. If not, that's gonna do it for this video. 
I'm gonna do the uh, breaks tomorrow. It's actually getting late. I get up for work in the morning. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it. It might go ahead and take it for a spin. If I do, I'll cut y'all back in once I get on the bike. If not, um, if you like and find this video helpful, uh, comment below, like, share, subscribe, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Yo, what up though? Quick test run. Let's see how she acting now. After she been all taken care of. Gotta get my gear together. Real quick walk around. Here, yeah, got my baby looking good, running good. It sounds a lot better. I'm definitely loving the way it sounds, huh? At least finna warm the tires up and hit the e-way. See what she talking about. Let's go. So I definitely can tell the difference. That tune up woke her up. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Jazzy. A little chilly out here tonight in the deep. Yeah, so far it's feeling good. I'm definitely feeling the difference so far. Quick little hour worth of work. Maybe two. If it's your first time. And you not recording like I was. Because that's definitely uh, delays the process. But nonetheless. Couple little hours invested. Got the bike running proper. It's performing a lot better. Performing a whole lot better. That's all my baby needed was a quick tune up. Just gotta treat your baby right. She'll treat you right. Try to see if I can find me a spot. Give me some social media content. Biker out late. Ride safe, brother. Oh, yeah. Man, world of difference. World of difference. I haven't felt anything going wrong so far. What else probably helping it run a lot better? It's a lot cooler out, too. Riding around on them hot ass days. It get pretty hot in the summertime in Detroit. Boy can't find neutral. Sad. Like I'm a rookie. Gonna be making fun of me. Oh, we got a green. I wanted to shoot some fire. Damn, brother, you ain't got no lights on. Oh, my God. Bumps, bro. I 
Alright, this pay is freshly paid up here. Duh. Oh. You gotta be careful on a bike. I don't want you to have kids. Now I can see out of my rear view. Even though I still do a double take with the look, I still like having my rear view. I know a lot of people delete their mirrors and to each his own, but I actually try with my mirrors, if that makes sense. I pay more, I pay just as much attention to where I'm going as like in my rear view mirrors. Especially when I'm in a car. It's way more of a habit. I got three mirrors and I'm in them all of the time. So I think it's just a habit. I try flipping the mirrors down one day, just riding without them and yeah, I couldn't do it. So it started making me paranoid, I couldn't see. And ADD start kicking in. Oh, that sound sounds so good. Oh, I'm loving how that sounds, brother. Yeah, and that right there is how you capture some dope Instagram footage. All right, my good people. It's enough screwing around for the night. And take it on in. And take her on the freeway. Check for the police. So we open my baby up. Let's go.
And with that, boys and girls, we gonna call it a night. I'm gonna go ahead and head in, get ready for work tomorrow. Um, as always, if you like the content, like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so y'all ready for that next video. Until the next one, we out.